Hey everyone, welcome back. To all my new subscribers, big welcome to another update on the 60 gallon system by jmadden184. It's now week 14, day 98. I know I missed a week, sorry about that. Got some stuff changing in the system. Got rid of a couple corals, got some new ones. I want to try out some SPS corals little bit more because the ones that I did have are growing really well, really fast, good coloration, so I decided to get some more SPS. The fish are doing really good. Uh, as you can see over there in the right corner, the perks have taken over the anemones. Uh, this is really great, but there's a problem. As you know, I had the small maroon clown in the tank. Uh, the perks were over on the uh, left-hand side of the tank, kind of where the yellow tang is. That's pretty much where they hung out. But once I got them to start spending more time in the right side of the tank, they decided to be hosted by the anemones and two separate clownfish species mixed together. doesn't really work. The maroon clownfish is now residing in my 29 gallon bio cube. He's just in there all by himself uh, until I can find a new home for him. The tank is doing really good overall as far as the parameters go. My nitrates are right around like one part per million, uh, maybe a little bit lower. Um, I know there's some nitrates in there because I'm still getting some kind of allergy growth. Uh, the phosphates, according to the test kit API, are reading zero. I know it's hard to get an accurate reading on phosphates, but I feel that this is probably close to accurate due to the amount of growth I have in my catamorpha. It's probably sucking it out of the system as fast as it's being produced, so it's really hard to get an accurate reading on phosphates. Everything else is good, calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, holding strong. Uh, all the corals are just healthy and happy. Go ahead and zoom in and give you a close up on some of them. I'm gonna do a quick run through, try and keep this video as short as possible for you guys. So enjoy. start over here in the middle of the tank see there in the back the Tyree toadstool is doing really good moved it, did a little bit of uh, reorganizing here of corals um, moved the toadstool over here because it was starting to, it's just growing so fast that it's began touching the lobophilia there in the middle and that was kind of a problem uh, I didn't want there to be any kind of chemical warfare going on in the tank. Uh, the scalemias are doing good. You can see the little orange one on the bottom, the larger one, are both really fat, real happy. See my little hermit crab there, orange-legged one. Center you got the uh, Tyree blue chalice growing really well. I went ahead and mounted it to a piece of dead coral skeleton just to kind of keep it off the sand and it's starting to fill out nicely see the new growth on it all over the place really cool Let's see if we can get a shot of the sand bed here without it washing out too much yeah I'm on the bottom right there on the sand bed uh, just to the left of the lobo you see the little chalice lots of new growth on it um, wasn't really noticing growth before because of where it was positioned, but it was actually growing quite a lot, but towards the back of the tank, so you really couldn't see it in the videos. All of the acans are doing really well. Um, as you can see, I kind of moved them around a little bit too. Uh, I had another incident with the uh, polyclad flatworms in here, so I had to move and shake some of these rocks once again. Left hand side. Clams are doing really good, the maximum and the crochet clam. Bubble coral is doing fantastic. 
these uh, blastomooses are doing really good. Uh, hermit crabs crawling on them, so they're kind of closing up, but they extend really, really large. Put the uh, Monty cap inside here. Uh, it's still getting quite a bit of light. It's starting to darken up. Uh, the the camera's kind of not really capturing the colors properly, so but what you see is the color on the outside is actually the color of the entire coral now, so that's really cool. Put the GSPs down here, and over there in the back corner you get a little look. A can Echinata sitting on the bottom in the corner, away from everything. Now over here in this section, I went ahead and redid it once again. Uh, there was a rock up here that was just loaded with Aptasia, so I took it out and quarantined it. And I got this rock and put it here. I really like it. There's a lot of spots to put corals. And up here you're going to see some uh, new additions to the system. I'm not 100% for certain of the species of Acropora that these are. But I can tell you this is that they're really healthy and thriving in my tank. On the left side there the smaller one on the small frag plug the the true color of it that the camera is really not pulling out because I'm using my phone it's pink uh, it's all pink uh, it's the little brighter spot you see there is just from the light kind of looks white um, and towards the base of it it's green so if anybody knows what this could possibly be you know, feel free to toss me a little uh, note in the uh, comment section then you have this one here in the center, the one with these just crazy polyp extension on it. It's a really bright green, and the axial uh, filaments sticking out are just huge and looking really great. The one in the back there, the color that you're seeing is pretty much the true color of it. It's just this amazingly bright blue. Um, and the polyp extension on it's really good too. I'm not sure if you can see in the video. Um, maybe once it's on YouTube on full screen, 1080p, be able to get a real good shot of how this coral looks. And also right here in the foreground, another smaller acro. Uh, I think the one in the back is a blue tort, if I'm correct. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, also, this, there's another smaller one here in the front, which is very similar to the green one to the left. This acros, I would say it's kind of got this greenish base, and the tips of it are blue, so that's really cool. Really, really nice little piece there. And I also got this guy up here. This one is just awesome. This one's a green slimer, I think. Uh, not, not really for sure. Didn't really slime very much when I put it in the system, so uh, we'll see. If you look down at the base of it there, uh, where that little white patch is. Uh, that was there when I got it. Um, it hasn't gotten any worse since I put this piece in the tank. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Really good polyp extension on this coral as well. It's just about the exact same color as my green star polyps. So that's pretty cool. To the right of it, another SPS. We got the uh, Acropora, the uh, Millipora. Uh, it's really good polyp extension. This coral's pink. Uh, lots of new sprouts starting to happen on it since it's been in the tank. You see those white spots on it? Those are all new growth starting to take off. And then this acro down here is just growing like a like a champ. I mean, this thing is just doing absolutely awesome. No complaints with it whatsoever. Maze brain on the left there doing really well. Lestria, doing really good. Yellow Tang, fat and happy. Trigophilia radiata, doing good. Orange Torch, full recovery. Just really good extension on that one. All the mushrooms are doing really well. The Redactus ones are starting to burn the green one over there on the right, the Yuma, so I may have to move that. And over here you can see that weird pink purple thing that's been growing in here. It's just getting bigger by the day. Pulsing Zinnia doing really good. 
Duncans aren't as big as they usually are. Got a different flow pattern in here since adding more SPS. Um, but it's, it's doing good. Hammer still growing. Favia in the foreground. Doing great. Gold Torch good. No complaints really from any of my Euphilias whatsoever. Starting to get some new color back here in the Wolzani here. This one is a lot, you can't really see in the video, but the uh, there's a lot more pink. I'm starting to get some green back, as you can see it there. It's just showing up as kind of a whitish color on the phone here. Lobo on the bottom right, good. Candy Cane's doing well. Uh, one of the cool things, you know, like I mentioned earlier, is that the the perks are hosted in the uh, Rose Bubble Tip Anemones now. Pretty cool. And unfortunately, the uh, Maroon Clownfish had to get displaced and put into my 29-gallon uh, bio cube. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. Tank is doing really well overall. No complaints. I'm really excited about the SPS corals. See how they do. Already showing signs of new growth. So gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care and happy reefing guys.